G'day everyone, Average Alexis here, hoping you're all having a good one. And today's video, I figured I would show you guys how I get my hair dry. Now, sometimes I will wash my hair before bed and then let it dry overnight. Other times I will just let it dry naturally. But today I have 40 minutes before I'm supposed to go pick someone up for basketball. So hair dryer it is. Um, I have very, very thick hair. So probably the best thing for my hair that I've ever bought is this Turby Twist. It just takes the dampness out of it so the hairdryer doesn't have to work as hard and I don't have to turn it up as high and then it ends up damaging my hair. So it's been in this for maybe about 15 minutes now. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off. Ugh. Yeah, my hair wet is absolutely fabulous as you can see. So like I said, I have very thick hair. Um, and sometimes I just need to dry it off with a hairdryer because it's just, it's, oh, it's crazy. Absolutely crazy. So what I like to do is run my fingers through it to get the knots out of it. Um, just because if I brush my hair while it's in this state, it's prone to breakage really easily. And I've been trying to take better care of my hair in the past year or so because I do dye it a lot. So it deserves all the love and care that it can get. That and the fact that my hair is actually like naturally this wavy curly thing. So brushing it out when it's like this makes it dry funky. So I'm going to go ahead and take my um, Schwarzkopf leave-in conditioner spray and I'm going to go shake it up first and then I'm going to go in and just spritz it through my hair. All right, and then I'm gonna go back in and run my fingers through it again, just to give my hair a bit of a chance to take in all of that lovely leave-in conditioner. Now, the next step that I do is I moisturize my hair. Leave-in conditioner and moisturizer are two completely different things. Please ignore Lucy if you can hear her whining. There's nothing wrong with her. She just thinks it's her dinner time, which isn't until six o'clock. Um, and it's currently 5.25, so she's a little bit off. But yeah, I like to use the Justice Professional Smooth and Groom Moisturizer, Leave-In Moisturizer, if you want to call it that. It enriches, strengthens, and smooths hair. Now, I found that the best way to use this, they say using like a pea-sized amount of this every day is really good. I don't like to use it every day because it tends to weigh my hair down a little bit too much. So what I do is I put it in and I, I put in this little, like a little bit more than a pea sized amount when my hair is wet and then let it dry off. And then it seems to be fine until I wash my hair again. So all I've done is massage that through my hair. The bonus of this one is it smells really, 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 really good. <laughs> so the next step that I do when I'm using a dryer to dry my hair, so I've gone ahead and I've like, the leave-in conditioner and the moisturizer protect a little bit because I don't own a heat protector. So you'll have to forgive me for that. Um, that and they always make my hair real crunchy and I don't like it. So I've got my Remington hair dryer. It's very, very well loved, it's a bit dirty and everything like that, but it still does the job. I tend to put it on the um, second heat. Sorry, that was the fan, wrong thing. I tend to put it on the middle heat setting here, um, just because the high one is a little bit too hot for what I wanna be doing with it right now. I'm not using it like this to completely dry my hair off, I'm going to be using a diffuser. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put it on the highest fan setting and do a quick run around my hair to kind of get rid of that excess weight and dampness and that sort of thing off of it. So here we go. Oh, me getting thumbnails. <laughs> I'm not normally like that when I dry my hair off. So this is just like taking a bit of the weight off of it. As you can see, my hair has a bit of a natural part on the side, so I just kind of let it part wherever it wants. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and I leave it on the middle heat setting, but I attach 
this doobie bob, doobie bob, that's a new one, this thing to the front of it. Um, it just clicks in like that. And this is designed specifically for like curly hair or wavy hair and that sort of thing. And it's a little bit more gentle when it's drying your hair. So I've taken to using it because it does help with the way my hair dries. Um, it might not do what I want it to do at the moment because it has been straightened um, in the last week or so. So it tends to take a bit, a bit of time to get back to its elasticity. Big words today. <laughs> But yeah, um, you only, when you're using it, when you're using the diffuser, only put it on like the lower fan setting. Otherwise it just, it goes a bit weird on your hair. I'm sorry about her, but here we go. I'll stop this halfway through and explain to you the next bit um, and why I can't show it to you because it's a little bit weird, but I'll get there guys. All right. Okay, as you can see, my hair is still not dry because the next part that I do, my hair tends to sit a little bit flat when I do it with a dryer. So I've taken to flipping my head upside down and using this for the rest of the time that I'm drying my hair. So you guys aren't gonna see that, but you will see the ending part because like I literally go down here. So you're not gonna be able to see me guys, but I will be back soon and hopefully my hair will be dry. Wouldn't be surprised if it's not, because again, my hair's really super thick, but I'll see you guys soon. Alrighty, so as you can see, my hair is relatively dry. Um, I do actually like when it does this. Gosh, my face is red from that. <laughs> um, I don't mind it when it's like this, because it gets that little bit of, I don't know, that little bit of extra volume to it when I dry it like that, um, compared to what it normally has. Like, my hair's normally pretty fluffy, but... <laughs> Yeah, I, so this is kind of what my hair looks like when it's natural, I guess. I mean, you guys have seen me with curls and straightened hair and sorry, my dog's barking again. Oh, she's so much, she just, ugh, I love her, but ugh. But yeah, so my hair's feeling just a little bit dry because obviously I've dried it with a dryer, but it's got bits of dampness still in it and I just like to let those kind of dry themselves and that sort of thing because this looks relatively okay, but I'm gonna go back in with the Schwarzkopf leave-in conditioner just to give it that extra little bit of help because my hair needs all the help it can get. I mean, look at it. <laughs> All right, and that is the general gist of what I like to do with my hair. It's actually taken less time than I thought it would. I thought this actually takes me a lot longer. Um, but yeah, this is my hair, just the way that, you know, it wants to be. <laughs> the amount of times I say in videos, my hair does whatever the hell it wants, it's true. It really does. Like I could straighten it and 20 minutes later, it won't be straight anymore. Like my hair has its own mind, I swear. But yeah, um, also a quick note before I begin my outro because I know I'm gonna forget it if I interrupt it. The last time I checked, which was this morning, we are at 90 subscribers, guys. Oh my God, there's 90 of you subscribed to this channel. I love you all so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We are so close to our goal for the month. I'm like freaking out. The goal for the month is 100 subscribers and the month, like we've still got, what's the date today? It's the 22nd. We've still got more than a week left in this month. This can be done guys. So share the heck out of the videos, anything to get people to subscribe. I am going to be so, so, so excited if we actually hit 100 for the month. I'm going to be excited when we hit 100 regardless because I'm hoping we'll hit 100, but Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And remember, if we do get to 100 by the end of the month or when we get to 100 anyway, I'm going to be doing my first live stream on YouTube. So 
Everyone who subscribed to the channel, please let me know down below um, whereabouts you guys are from so I can try and work out a time to do this live stream so that it suits everyone. Because I live in Australia and I know that a lot of my subscribers are Australian, but some of you are from the UK and some of you are from America. So let me know like what is a good time that would, or where you guys are from so I can look it up and work out time zones and work out what would be the best time to get as many of you to the stream as possible because I want everyone to be streaming. I'm hoping it's gonna be like a Q and A sort of thing, but yeah. <laughs> but that's a wrap for this video. Thanks heaps for watching. Like and subscribe if you want to. Believe in yourself and be you and I will catch you in the next one. Bye guys.